Okay, we have a fifth axis rock lock system top tooling. This is a, it's a basically a, a riser plate with, uh, looks like double uh, dovetail fixtures mounted on the top. And I'm assuming that uh, looking at their product page, this is basically something that, you know, is going to be used this way all the time. So I'm gonna create this as a singular element. Um, in other words, you know, we can do this where, uh, here I'll make a quick uh, layer. <clears throat> and then, uh, let's see, I don't, I'm not sure what view this is in. That looks good there. I'll grab this, uh, put this on the new layer and turn that layer off just temporarily. So we can make this fixture as a modular component and then make these as a separate item. But again, since I think that this all kind of gets used together in this configuration, uh, in this case, uh, let's just create this as one solid unit. So what I'm going to do first, uh, you can see that this is the face that's going to mount with whatever, you know, 96 millimeter base. Um, and these, you know, the fixtures are all created where the z-axis is normal to that. So this is not oriented correctly. It's also not at the zero point. So we want to go ahead and orient this. So we're going to highlight that bottom face. And then under a line z, I want my z-axis to be pointing up into the fixture. So what I'm going to do is hold shift when I click on align z. And that is going to put my w vector normal up into the fixture. Now you see that it is not centered. So no big deal. We can grab actually one side here because the, these are flat sides. And then rotate the screen and then holding control on the keyboard we want to grab the opposite face so when I look at this I'm actually selecting two opposite faces okay so we can align this by um, Y let's say and looks like it flipped my workpiece upside down not a big deal we can just do that again holding the shift key and I'll go back to a solid view so we can see that a little bit better. And then what I'm going to do is grab this side and then rotate holding control, grab this side. And then again, I'm going to come here to the align function and use align X. And that is going to center my uh, fixture module about the X and the Y and have it normal at that bottom interface to the Z axis located at Z0. Uh, now, when I'm doing this stuff, I kind of like my workpiece to be oriented along X. So what I want to do is I want to just right click and say select all, right click again, say copy, and then rotate from the drop down, say move 90 degrees. Um, actually, which way do I want this to go? So We've got our, uh, you know, tightening fasteners here. Uh, do I want them to be facing basically me, the user, uh, standing in front of the machine? Uh, yeah, so I'm going to just kind of rotate this a positive 90 around the Z-axis going counterclockwise. So we'll go 90 degrees, say OK. So now, uh, if it's mounted this way, I'll be seeing the fasteners. So we're going to go ahead and now mount or uh, set a mounting position up here for the workpiece. So at this point, we're going to be mounting stock to this dove dovetail fixture. I don't think we're going to be mounting another uh, uh, fixture, although I guess some people might mount a fixture to a fixture. So maybe we could do both a fixture adapter position and a workpiece adapter position. So what I'm going to do is, if I mount stock or another fixture, typically I would mount it to this, uh, this plane here. So it would sit on top of this. 
okay? So what I want to do is just basically shift this position up. Am I going to mount one at the center of this fixture <clears throat> or this one? Probably not. I'm probably going to mount it centered, you know, along the, you know, inside the z-axis. So uh, basically I just want to shift this position upward and uh, go ahead and make sure that that is centered. Okay, so let's check out this face. So under Home, Show Hide, you have a Solids checkbox, and this is the box. So if I grab this guy, you know, this box may appear wherever on your screen. You can grab it and move it and place it at the center of another box by releasing the mouse at this uh, center box here in the, the middle of this cross. And that will embed that so that I can switch between these two tabs and see the data that I want to see. So zooming in here, I see that this face is at 2.653543. And I'm going to let the computer think for me. So I'm just going to right click on that and say copy. And then over here, I'm going to say, let's go to translate. And down it says, enter the X translation value. So I'm just going to type zero on my keyboard. <clears throat> the Y translation is going to be zero. And then the Z translation, I'm going to do the same thing, type zero. But before I hit enter, I'm going to highlight that, right click, and say paste, and say enter. And it's just going to bring my, um, my work plane up to the top center of this um, you know, fixture assembly, basically. Now, I had actually extracted the geometry, projected it here. And when I looked at the actual center of this dovetail, it was off by literally just a few thou. But what's interesting about this is these clamps are not positioned. I used, I used this edge to do that, and these clamps are not positioned exactly at the corner. So I'm going to assume that the dovetail is centered, and we're going to go ahead and save out our FA underscore 1. We're going to come over and do it again for a workpiece adapter, because it's likely I'll most be using the workpiece adapter position and then come here to file save as and we're going to save this under the top tooling as a fixture D gdml and say save and now we can load it into the machine but actually let's go ahead and check this out so really quick this has these um, pull studs on the bottom and if you want to save file size I'm going to go ahead and delete those so they're not there anymore. So I just hit F4 on my keyboard and then windowed in and grabbed them and hit delete. And now I'm going to say file, save as, and resave this as a fixture file. And redo that. And now we can go ahead. So we're going to load a machine just to test this out. Um, and when the machine comes in, We'll turn off the um, sheet metal. I'll come to fixture. We're going to pick a pyramid that I did in the last video. <clears throat> We're going to set it from the measuring system to the top of the table. I'll say OK. Uh, on this, we're going to have another mount. And this is going to be an interesting setup. Uh, we'll come back here to 96 millimeter, come to base and pick one of these uh, depending on whatever you want to use whatever interfaces with this pyramid I'm not a hundred percent familiar with all of the fifth axis product but we can see that appear on uh, position zero degree and then we'll say okay and then here I'll say new fixture 
And on top of that, we'll go back to top tooling and grab this one that I just made. And we'll say OK. And that mounts on top of that. So we have the capability to stack the modular components. And you know, if you want, since this is mounted to this component, we could right click on this and say copy here and say paste and apply it to the other two positions. And you'll see them appear on the different positions. And of course, if I did have a workpiece and stock mounted each, those would also be copied. And that is about all you need to do to set up some modular 5-axis rock lock product from 5th axis.